The Lockheed T-33, affectionately known as the T-Bird, is an iconic jet trainer that has played an integral role in the development of jet pilots for several air forces around the world. Born out of the innovative spirit of the late 1940s, the T-33 has a rich history that reflects both the technological advancements of its era and the global shifts in military aviation training. The origins of the T-33 are closely tied to another legendary aircraft, the Lockheed P-80 Shooting Star. Designed by the famous aeronautical engineer Clarence Kelly Johnson and his team at Lockheed, the P-80 was America's first operational jet fighter. Developed during World War II, the P-80 marked a significant leap in aviation technology with its jet propulsion system, promising superior speed and performance compared to propeller-driven aircraft. As the P-80 was being developed, it became clear that the advent of jet propulsion required a new approach to pilot training. Pilots transitioning from piston-engine aircraft to fast, nimble jets faced a steep learning curve. Thus, the need arose for an effective training platform tailored to impart the skills necessary to handle these new machines. In response, Lockheed developed the T-33 by modifying the P-80's design. The T-33 was essentially a two-seat version of the P-80, incorporating an extended fuselage to accommodate an instructor and a student pilot. This design allowed for in-flight instruction, a crucial feature for training in the fast-paced world of jet aviation. The aircraft first took to the skies on March 22, 1948, and quickly became the primary training aircraft for the United States Air Force. One of the standout features of the T-33 was its simplicity and reliability. The aircraft was powered by an Allison J-33A35 turbojet engine, which produced about 5,400 pounds of thrust, enabling a maximum speed of approximately 600 miles per hour. This was sufficient for giving pilots a genuine jet experience while still being manageable enough for students to learn effectively. Its tricycle landing gear and relatively forgiving flight characteristics made it an ideal platform for novice pilots. The T-33's cockpit was designed with dual controls, allowing the instructor to monitor and assist the student, making it an ideal environment for learning. Moreover, the aircraft's robust construction ensured it could withstand the rigors of training missions, from basic flight maneuvers to more advanced tactics. Beyond its technical specifications, the T-33 became a symbol of the transition to jet-powered flight. As the Cold War heated up, the United States and its allies recognized the need for a large cadre of well-trained jet pilots. The T-33 filled this gap admirably, thousands of pilots not only in the U.S. Air Force, but also in other countries around the world. The T-33's service was not confined to just the U.S. military. Over 6,500 T-33s were produced, serving in more than 30 air forces globally. Countries such as Canada, Japan, Brazil, and Turkey integrated the T-33 into their training programs, attesting to its versatility and effectiveness. In Canada, the T-33 was known as the CT-133 Silver Star and remained in service for over four decades, showcasing the aircraft's longevity and adaptability. In addition to its role as a trainer, the T-33 found use in other military applications. It served as a target tug, drone director, and even in some instances, as a frontline combat aircraft. Its adaptability made it a valuable asset beyond its primary training mission. The T-33's impact wasn't limited to just military training. It also found a niche in civilian aviation. After being retired from military service, many T-33s were acquired by private owners and organizations, finding new life in civilian hands. These aircraft are often seen at air shows, showcasing their graceful lines and performance to new generations of aviation enthusiasts. Some have even been modified for racing, highlighting the aircraft's enduring appeal and versatility. Despite being developed over seven decades ago, the T-33 remains a beloved aircraft among aviation historians and enthusiasts. Its distinctive appearance, with its long fuselage and tip tanks, is instantly recognizable. More importantly, the skills and confidence it imparted to countless pilots laid the groundwork for modern jet aviation. The legacy of the T-33 goes beyond its technical achievements.
It stands as a testament to an era of rapid technological advancement and the global spread of jet aviation. It was a crucial stepping stone in the transition from piston engine fighters to the high performance jets that would dominate the skies in the latter half of the 20th century. The T-33's story is also one of innovation and adaptability. Its design, a derivative of the P-80, was a masterstroke of engineering efficiency, taking an existing platform and modifying it to meet new needs. This adaptability ensured that the T-33 remained relevant long after its initial introduction. While the T-33 is no longer in service as a frontline trainer, its influence is still felt today. The skills and techniques developed through T-33 training programs have been passed down through generations of pilots. Moreover, the aircraft's successful export to numerous countries exemplified a period of international cooperation and shared technological advancement during the Cold War. Even as aviation technology continues to evolve, with advanced systems like fly-by-wire controls and sophisticated avionics becoming standard, the T-33 remains a beloved chapter in the story of flight. Its contribution to pilot training and its role in the global dissemination of jet technology ensure that it will always hold a special place in the annals of aviation history. In the end, the Lockheed T-33 is much more than just a trainer aircraft. It is a symbol of a pivotal moment in aviation history, a bridge between the past and the future of flight. Its story is one of innovation, adaptability, and global influence, ensuring that the T-Bird will be remembered and celebrated for many years to come.